Hey guys, this is Apple iProduct Reviews here, and um, I thought I would kind of do a, not an unboxing video, but a, um, a kind of unboxing video. I don't know how to put it. I've already unboxed it, so it can't be an unboxing video, but it can be like um, what was inside the box, unboxing type of video, and slash review kind of. So, what I got is the iPod Touch 4G Defender Series Otter Box. Um, I ordered this off of Amazon.com. Very cheap. Uh, way cheaper than uh, you could get it off the, the site Otter Box. Um, I paid $21 for it, and on the site, I think it was regularly like $30. Um, so, yeah, that was a big price difference. So like I said, this is for the iPod 4G. I have my iPod 4 here. Um, uh, so yeah, let's get started. The box is fairly small for the box it came in. I thought it would be in something way smaller. I mean, look at the box. It's like kind of dangling around in there. I mean, it came with packaging and stuff like that, but whatever. Um... So yeah, on the box you can see it has some instructions on how to put your case together. Um, it says OtterBox up here, uh, Defender Series. And the thing about this is the OtterBox comes in three different series. Um, you got the Defender Series, you got the Reflex Series, and you got the Commuter Series. But the Defender Series of, the, of all of them is the most protective. So that's why I kind of chose this, because I tend to drop my iPod a lot, and uh, stuff like that. So, I thought this would be great. Now, on the side it says, we've got technology covered. And on here it says, uh, Defender Series for iPod Touch 4G. Um, and on the back it just kind of shows you uh, the form protections. Well, not protections, but layers. It has. It has. Uh, it's made of high impact poly. You know, I'm not even gonna try that. <laughs> but um, it it kind of has. It does come with screen protector, but it's not like one you think of. It's a built-in screen protector, as you can see. I can't poke my finger through that. It's just like this plastic layer. It this this really does give great protection for it. Um, so yeah. Now, like I said, this is for iPod Touch 4G. Now I'm gonna show you guys the three layers. It's got this kind of flexible layer uh, with a hole for your camera, a hole so the Apple logo shows, and a hole for the back camera. Um, this is kind of raised so you could click your home button still. Um, it's got these two openings so that you could still charge your iPod and plug it into your computer without having to take the case off and also plug in the headphones and uh... it's also got this little small hole cut out for your speaker also for the volume rockers it's raised up and on the back of this silicone it says OtterBox I don't know if you guys can see that and then you got this next piece of plastic layer. It's also got that um, plastic screen type protector, like it was on this, so it could protect your Apple logo on the back of your iPod. Um, it's got a cutout for your camera, and the cutout for the bottom portion of the silicone case. And a cutout for the volume rockers, and a cutout for your home button or sleep button.
my bad. Um, so yeah, this also has got to cut out for your camera and your home button. So, these are the three pieces it comes with. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to put this on your iPod. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. If you don't know how to do it, um, you can also look inside there, and it shows you. Now, so, you get your iPod. Um, just put it in there. Pretty self doable. Now, the cool thing about this, well, I don't, this isn't cool, but I get, I don't know. It's up to you guys whether you think it's cool or not. But, um, I have a screen protector on there now. So, yeah. And the piece of plastic that's on here also works with the screen protector I want. So I have like two layers of protection on my screen. So I think that's great. I think that's really right. So, you just snap these pieces together. This is quite hard, actually. It's not hard, it's just kind of confusing. I have to do this off camera. Alright, so I'm back and I got my, um, the plastic covering on it. So you can see, you can still see the camera. Um, your home button's cut out. Uh, the Apple logo, camera, and the mic. Um, your, uh, sleep button, and, uh, everything on the bottom. So, the next part, you just want to slip in the plastic in your iPod into the silicone. Just like this. Kind of try and get those to fit in there. These, this is one thing I don't like about this case is these things like never stay shut. They might for you, but on mine they don't. I'll be ordering another iP uh, Otter Box for my iPod fourth generation. I have another one, so I'll be getting another one, and I guess we'll see if these stay shut on that one. But um. From the looks, this case is awesome. Uh, it does add a lot of bulkiness to your iPod. That's one bad thing. Uh, so you kind of lose the slimness of it. But um, definitely, it's it's a great case. Uh, I'll tell you that. Uh, you can see it's still got the camera hole cut out. And the iPod is still fully usable. Um, I could still use it to swipe it back and forth and everything. Type the plastic. It's, I think it's just great how they added that. I could still click on the apps and stuff like that. Um, so yeah. Like I said, on the bottom, they, these don't stay shut, but they did cut out like a hole for the speaker to still show. The Apple logo still showing. Um, your camera's uh, hole is still showing, and then you got that still showing. So yeah, it was pretty cool. Um, so yeah, like I said, overall this is a great case. Um, there's, I don't see anything wrong with it except for these at the bottom. They never stay shut. Um, but yeah, so I would totally recommend this case to anyone. E the otter boxes you could get otter boxes for iPhones too so that that's great you could also get these for iPads Kindles Nooks etc uh, just go to their website uh, otterbox.com I believe it is yeah otterbox.com and uh, you can look at all the stuff they have I'll put a link in the description and yeah so guys, please subscribe. This was my first video. Um, I hope you guys liked it. Comment whether you liked it or not. Um, you guys can go on my channel and uh, post some things that uh, my next video should be on. I can do app reviews, uh, stuff like that. And um, yeah, teach you guys how to jailbreak your iPod, stuff like that. Uh, on the 5.0. For you people that don't know how to do it. But like I said, guys, just subscribe, rate, and comment. And uh, that's all you got to do. Uh, I hope you guys like this video. And uh, watch some of my future videos.
Thanks for watching, guys.